vigil is held in Anne Arundel County to remember the 50 victims who lost their lives in the New Zealand terror attacks last week. WJZ is live in Annapolis. Kelsey Kushner with more on the emotional gathering there tonight. Kelsey? That's right, Mary. Well, tonight, people of all different backgrounds and different religious beliefs, they gathered here tonight to honor those 50 victims of the New Zealand attacks, sharing a special message about hope. With every candle and every prayer, the stand against violence grew stronger. Too many communities are living in fear of being attacked, and we won't stay silent. Dozens gathered in Annapolis for a prayer vigil, mourning the loss of the victims killed in the deadly terror attacks in Christchurch, New Zealand. 50 innocent victims, young and old, lost in their place of worship. It is another senseless act of gun violence. We have to stand together and prevent the violence. It has to stop. For one woman in the crowd, the attack hits close to home. I have family in Christchurch. I've experienced lockdown here, um, as you know, um, and I never imagined my niece and nephew at school would have to. I just. Yeah, it was very hard to digest. The pain was felt by faith leaders like Zainab Chandri with the Council on American Islamic Relations. She tells WJZ the last four days have been nothing short of emotional. Even though this has been one of the worst tragedies to hit um, the Muslim communities globally, um, out of this tragedy and out of this um, hate, we're seeing an outpouring of love and solidarity um, that I think is really strengthening our communities in ways that we have not seen before. And people that I spoke with say that their next step is to work with local law enforcement to get more security at different places of worship. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.